Hello everyone, welcome back to another Antwood Movie Mania and we are on a Buffy run. If you, The last two videos I've done celebrity cameos through the Buffyverse and if you haven't seen them please check them out. In this video I'm going to be showing you my full Buffy figure collection. Over the past few months I've been buying and collecting. You might have seen them in a previous collectible video but I'm going to show you the full array of figures that I have got up to date. So first off we have Angel. Managed to buy this for twenty pound, I believe. Oh no, it was fifteen pound. So it's, uh, it's been a while since I bought this one, but you might have seen this one in the previous video. Let them say that there might be a couple that I've already shown you, but there is a few that I haven't shown you. So, so there he is, Vampire Angel. There's the back. Really nice piece. Next up we've got the robot with a nice nice piece there. We've got the robot buffy. You can see her there. We've got the little charger there for her as well. Nice little piece. So we've got the Buffy doll collector's edition. I don't know if you can see that on the glare. Put that there, yeah. there you go. Really nice piece. Next up we've got Spike. When he gets his soul back from season the end of season six, moving on to season seven. There you go, if you can see that. Like I didn't pay a fortune for these as well, so I really got these for like a decent price. So that's why I always try in this collection not to overspend on anything. I always try and find the cheapest bargain I can find. So most of the time I can, I can normally find something. Then we've got Goddess Willow with the scythe. There you go. It's the end of season seven. The last episode where she comes a goddess where she makes all the potential slayers. An actual slur. And there you can see all the different variations of willow you can buy. Next up we've got Tower. Unfortunately you'll get killed in season six. And if you don't know this little fact, see Tower has been in since season four. And they decide to put her in. She goes all the way through up to season six, and the last episode she's in, Joss Whedon decides to put her in the credits, and the opening, the opening credits, and in that episode, she ends up getting killed, which was I think a bit heartbreaking, which was a bit shocking in my opinion. But at least she gets the opening credits in the credits that she does being a character. So, as I'm saying, I've only got a couple of figures. I haven't got a big bunch because normally these videos will last a bit longer. But this one, this is the last one I've got for the Buffy collection of the figures anyway. Now this one, I'm very happy with because I've always wanted to own it and I've never owned it before. So we have the Master. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, you'll know that Season 1, which I've got on in the background, The Harvest is my favourite season. A lot of people hate it, but for me, Welcome to the Hellmouth and The Harvest are my two favourite episodes through the entire Buffy series. I can watch that all the time and never get bored of watching it. So I love like a good origin story slash how they all get together and everything. But this is really cool. See there? It's got there, yeah, it's got the master there. Uh, 
There you go, and it tells you a little bit about him on the back. Like how we got him into Sunnydale, how the church collapsed on him. Really nice piece. So that is it. That is my full Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection, figurine collection anyway. I mean, not. I mean, I've got loads of collection back there. Like you can see in that little area back there that I've got like tons of stuff. I've got the Vampire Book, I've got the Scythe up there. I've got Buffy on VHS running in the background as she's about to kill Luke. But that is it, that is my full figurine collection. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed it. Let me know what figures you have got. If you've got these figures in particular, I'd love to know, as always, your thoughts on what Buffy, what Buffy memories have you got and everything like that. But as always, I'm Anthony Movie Mania. Please leave your likes and comments, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.